Hello everyone, my name is Jojo. Welcome to my channel Joyroot Jojo. In today's video, we will see how we can monitor Windows update from Intune. Once we apply the Windows updates from Intune, it could take 24 hours before you are going to really start seeing a bunch of data. And also, you have to wait on some updates to go through from Intune. Now let's see where we can find the reports and monitor Windows update. For that, you will have to type in tune.microsoft.com in any of the browser and log into that. Now we are in the Intune portal now and click on reports. And I'm going to click, the, click on the report blade here. And then if you scroll down, you could see the Windows updates. Click on that. In the summary page, you could see some uh, summary of the updates that has been already been applied to our devices. And I click on reports and Windows feature update report. Here, if you check it out, you could see some warning notification. It says that you have to turn on Windows diagnostic data for your tenant. So we have not turned on this uh, Windows diagnostic data for our tenant. So we will not get the proper reports. So let us turn it on first. Here we have something called Windows data. Some Intune features, including Windows update report require sharing Windows diagnostic data with Intune. We have to enable feature that require Windows diagnostic data in the processor configuration. So we have to turn it on. So I do that. And here comes Windows license verification. If you want to use these features, confirm your tenant has one of the following license. So we should have either Windows 10 or later Enterprise E3 or E5 or Microsoft 365 F3, E3 or E5 and they have given some other licensing option here which is Windows 10 or later Education A3 or A5 or Microsoft 365 A3 or A5 and the third option we have here Windows Virtual Desktop Access E3 or E5. So in your environment if you are having Microsoft 365 E3 or E5 license you do have this Windows 10 or later enterprise. So don't worry about that. So you can directly come here and uh, confirm it. I confirm that my tenant owns one of these licenses. You can turn it on and save this. So if you are not sure what license you have, what you can do, you can navigate to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center and verify from the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. All right. Personally, I'm going to save this data. Once if we enable the reports, this is where we could get our data. You can see here if any quality or any production updates have gone out. Uh, in my case, I just have enabled the Windows diagnostic data just now. Hence, it takes time to get, get it reflected here. And if you go over here, reports, we can click on which, the, which of these reports we want to look at. We have something called the Windows feature update report, expedited update report. Windows Feature Update Device Readiness Report, Windows Feature Update Compatibility Risk Report, Windows Driver Update Report. So we do have all these reports available in our uh, report blade. Now let's click on let's click on Windows Feature Update Report. In my case, there is no data to see as of now because just now we have enabled the uh, Windows diagnostic uh, enabled the Windows diagnostic data. So it takes time to get reflected here. But you could see that if you did some deploy feature updates and it could provide you with some information like the devices, user principal name of the user, Intune device ID, Azure AD, so all this Azure AD device ID, so all those uh, details, information as provided here. It would provide you with the data right here you could uh, be able to look at. So coming back over here, we have also got Windows expedited update report. Click on that. So the same kind of thing, we expedited any updates, you will be able to see that information here. And then we have got Windows update device readiness report. All right. So if we click on that, this is going to give us uh, some information on how ready certain devices are for certain updates. And then you have also got uh, something called uh, compatibility report. If you go back, you could see some compatibility re report here which is called Windows Feature Update Compatibility Risk Report. So compatibility report would provide you with compatibility information. So this is 
especially handy if you are going to be deploying if you are going to be deploying some application and things like that or if you are going to go through an upgrade of newer uh, operating system it's going to tell you how ready this device is going to be for that so that's what windows features update compatibility compatibility risk report provides to us so this is an overall of windows update reports so as of now we have all these report to monitor our windows update and you can expect to see that microsoft is going to add more information regarding these report in the future that's all about how we can monitor windows update in uh, intune and if you find this video helpful please subscribe and support me and if you have any suggestions or questions please mark it in the comment section thanks for watching we will meet you in another video till then goodbye